Welcome back to Soccer Wonder Notes. And today we have a very American U.S. men's national team themed version of Soccer Wonder Notes. Let's dive in. First up, we've got Chris Richards, who's heading to the Premier League. He's going to Crystal Palace on an eight and a half million pound deal. Could go up to 11 million pounds with some incentives, which could end up being a steal for Palace uh, to get the 22-year-old Richards from Bayern Munich. You know, Richards has sort of gotten lost in the shuffle of the men's national team uh, because he doesn't get mentioned with those other really top young talents, that core group of Pulisic and Adams and McKinney and Reyna and, and Aronson that are, you know, the core that they're building around. But he's the same age as those guys. He hasn't gotten the consistent playing time you'd like to see. Um, part of that's being at Bayern. Then he went off on loan at Hoffenheim. You know, he's a center back. It's tough playing defense in the Bundesliga. So maybe that's played a role. But this is an opportunity to really show himself. Uh, if he can play regularly with Crystal Palace and, and play well, maybe he gets in that conversation to be, you know, positioned next to uh, Walker Zimmerman on the World Cup uh, starting 11. So and maybe that's a stretch, but this is a great opportunity for uh, for for Chris Richards to, to get, you know, some really good exposure and, and good game time. Next up, we have Matthew Hoppe, who is in that mix at striker for the men's national team, although he's down on the depth chart. You know, Hoppe came out of nowhere a few years ago when he got a chance with Schalke in the Bundesliga and just came on like a bat out of hell and scored five goals in his first seven games. And then from there, didn't do a ton else, but that was enough for a Spanish side Mallorca to, to go after him. He's been with them having mixed levels of success, and now Middlesbrough in the championship side is potentially making a move for Hoppe, which would be a great test for him if he can get regular playing time. Again, he's only 21. For these guys, it's all about where can they play. So, you know, Schalke got relegated to, to the second level of the German pyramid. Probably not the best competition. Mallorca, it really doesn't matter at this point. He needs to play. If he's going to play for Middlesbrough, the championship is a fantastic test. And if he does well there, it'll open up all sorts of doors for him. But he's got to play. So keep an eye on this one. Middlesbrough going after Matthew Hoppe, and we hope he's going to play. Speaking of just needs to play, James Sands has been with uh, Rangers in the Scottish Premiership for a little over a year now, and he's still on loan from uh, New York City FC, and he wants to remain there, but he hasn't been playing a lot. And, you know, Greg Berhalter has come out and said that he needs to see more out of Sands. Uh, you know, he's a defensive midfielder, which is a position they could use a little bit more depth on, you know, on the World Cup roster behind Tyler Adams. It's probably not Sands yet because he's simply not playing enough. If he could break into the Rangers lineup, that would be quite a statement uh, because that's a good side, even though the Scottish League is not terribly deep. Rangers is a good side. They play some European you know, games, and so it's great experience for him. But again, only if he's going to play. He's only 22. These guys have to play, particularly if they want to catch Greg Berhalter's eye. So Sands seems happy there. He wants to stay with Rangers, but the guys got to play. They all have to play. That's what it comes down to for these young American talents abroad. It's very enticing to want to go play for some of these great clubs, but if you're not playing, it doesn't do you any good. That's all for our U.S. Men's National Team edition of Soccer Wonder Kids. Have a great day.